text back y'all don't understand com simple motherfucking communication and what the fuck is my camera acting retorted like baby baby as soon as i want to start using you you want to be broke like these niggas what's wrong with you oh shit back the hell up why i got so close back up jeez why oh, y'all so close to me, man? Hey guys, it's your girl Lady Gordon's back out again with another video. And today we are wearing Pure Shine. Go shop the brand. They dope as hell. Check out the back. Check out the back. If y'all want to send me stuff, you know what I'm saying? DM me. Text me. Y'all to put in the comments like, hey, I want you to wear my stuff because you fine. And yeah, just get it. Connect with me that way. But... Welcome to this video. I don't even know what this video is really going to be about. I don't even have my mic yet. But why did I buy this? And I bought a Blue Yeti. Man, don't buy the Blue Yeti mine. I ain't even use it yet, but it's just too much to connect and stuff. Like, somebody needs to set this up for me because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm trying to figure it out, but I don't know what I'm doing. But anyways, this video is just going to be about moving on bro like i'm tired i'm so 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 tired like i don't think y'all understand how tired i am i come out to cry like for real but this video is just gonna be for all of my girls because you know it's hard out here for like real women who work hard who are trying to get their life together you know what i'm saying trying to get their life right are on the right path do what they need to do every single day and just want somebody to cuddle with at night like i just want somebody to cuddle with at night somebody to treat me nice somebody to respect me somebody to have self-motivation like i do like i don't want to have to be your mom like i don't want to have to be your mom listen to me i don't want to have to be your mom like ever in life i don't i want to be a mom when i birth somebody on my coochie and they come out and I see a big head that I had to push out. That's when I want to be a mom. But I don't want to be a mom to men. Like, y'all should already have motivation yourself. So, ladies, stop dealing with these men that don't have self-motivation. Stop opening yourself up to them. As soon as they do not have what you need, you see that they don't have car you see that they don't have job you see that they don't have self-motivation and they just struggle with certain things that you know you just cannot deal with because with me i'm gonna tell y'all my story but let me back this camera up because it's too close or it needs to be raised up some let me see okay guys so with me i've been in like this battle for so long because I've always, I grew up with my mom and dad together, two-parent household, everything was going fine, everything been going good and everything, and then it's like, you want that in a man, you see that, you want that. So it's like, I've been in these relationships where I've been trying to grow these men up to be something that I think in my head they're going to be when in reality, reality check, they're not, they're not going to ever, they might not ever be that. You know what I'm saying? If they can't be that for themselves, what makes y'all think that they're going to be that for you? You can't be God. And I feel like a lot of times we try to be God. We try to step into that lane. And it's good to be a down female where, like, you hope you're a man until he comes up. Because if that man is actually working towards something, he's actually applying himself. He's actually doing better. Then it's like, okay, cool. I'm going to stay. I'm going to stick around to see where this goes. But if you see this man is not doing something, you have to keep 
telling him, hey, do this, do that. You're trying to put him on, and he's not putting himself on. He's not making improvements here and there. He's not doing those things, and you know that. Maybe this is like, this is how I had to look at it. I don't want to have to be doing this for the rest of my life. If I can't get you to do the simple stuff, then how are we going to be able to build together? How are we going to build a family together? How are we going to be able to come up and raise these children? You know what I'm saying? My beliefs might not be his beliefs. And then it's just like a whole bunch of nonsense clashing because this relationship is not meant to be. It's not working out. You left this person, y'all separated for a reason, and then you tried. You missed this person six months down the road. That person said they're doing better with their life. Then you try to make things work. Stop trying to make things work all the time. It's, some things are just not meant to collapse. Some things are just not meant to be. Like, some people are just in your life for a season. After that season, you got to let them go because God might have something for you. Like, he might have something for you. But if you keep holding on to this person, you keep holding on to these things that they can possibly, possible, possibly do for you, but they're not doing for you, that's going to hold you back from getting to... The man of your dreams. Get into the man that's going to respect you. Get into the man who's going to open your door. Get into the man who has a car, who has a license, who has drive, who has self-motivation. Who's going to help you build your family up. Help you open this business. Help you go to the gym. Give you motivational motivation to do stuff because he's actually doing it. He's actually living that life. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times we try to be down. We try to be this super woman female. Try to bring these women, these men up or men try to bring these females up. When I heard so many stories like the female I wanted, she didn't want to do nothing. She, all she did was want to spend my money. All she wanted to do was spend my money, eat off of me, do this, that, and the third. Why are we still dealing with this in 2023? Why are we still dealing with these type of people? And then on top of that, other people make it so easy for them to get over or use and abuse you because... The other people are letting them do it to them. So they think now they can come over to you and do the same thing. Like, I'm sick of this. 2023, these females, like, the females, the men, I'm tired of y'all, like, y'all are ruining it for the good people. You know what I'm saying? It's still good people out there, but it's like, y'all need to chill. Like, all this money, oh, he need to give me a bag, he need to pay my rent, he need to do this, that, and the third. Y'all make it look so bad for us, for the females who actually are grinding, for the females who actually want us. A man who can who can be there for them who can be a team for the females who actually want their man to be in a relationship with them to be a team to have teamwork to work together to be something no y'all lazy females y'all just want their money y'all don't want them for them I want my man because I want him for who he is you know what I'm saying I want both of us to come up together and be something you know what I'm saying it's good if a man wants to take care of you and provide for you that is good that is okay but it's the way that y'all are going about it that makes it look so evil so envy so nasty nasty like man but yes i do want a man to provide and protect i want him to be there and to be be there for me because i'm tired of being the superwoman i'm tired of being the one who's providing and protecting and pouring into and motivating all of these things and all you can do is be like hey open your legs up you know what i'm saying open your legs up this is all i can do for you at the moment like i'm tired of that i get so tired of it and it's like no like women men we got to put our crowns on and know our self-worth we are worth more than what people have out here sitting for us and you know what the devil will do he will keep putting these same people in our life over and over again and then you find yourself getting out of a relationship and then you see these exes or you see these people that you left behind come back right into your life the people who are who are meant to be there for a season and it's like oh let me go mess with him because i'm bored no stop messing with these people stop messing with these people because you're bored stop messing with these people because you want money stop messing with these people to use them stop messing with people because you know they're not your type like you know these people are not your type but you still want to waste their time you still want to waste their money to make you feel like a good person that is not good that is bad karma that you're putting on yourself you shouldn't do that like with me i could have been a a b-i-t-c-h i, I could have been that because i was hurt because somebody gave me flowers and then left me a week later like i could have been a complete b-i-t-c-h i, I could have been out here wilding but i'm not doing that you know what i'm saying 
I have more respect for myself. And I know that maybe I make a mistake, but tomorrow I'm going to fix it. I'm going to make do better for myself. I'm going to do better for my life because this is not what I want. I want more for myself. I don't want less. I don't want less than. So stop messing with these people who are less than, who don't meet your standards, who don't even qualify for the job, who don't qualify on the application. These people who shouldn't even get to the interview process. Y'all are interviewing these people, getting to know these people, telling them about yourself, telling them who you are, opening up to them, and then... You get mad when they say that they love you. They might really do love you. They might really love you. They might really do. But at the end of the day, it's like, love is not enough. And I've learned that love is not enough to be in a relationship. You have to have loyalty, trust, be faithful, be motivating, be able to lift some weight off of each other's shoulders and create a balance, come together as one. And in the long run, you want to be become married to that person you know what i'm saying all of these sexual desires and all of this stuff is a hint from god that maybe a marriage could work out but we use sex too often for all these other different things and it's like not good like no sex is supposed to be safe for marriage it's the reason why god does these different things to set these things up for us in the way that he do but yes we have sexual desires yes we have temptations but the goal is marriage. The goal is to be together as one. You know what I'm saying? If we decide we can't control ourselves. If we decide we can't control ourselves, that's why we get married. And then we have kids. You know what I'm saying? Then we build a family together. You know? And marriage in the Bible says will make your life. You will go through many difficulties when you get married. Because by yourself you only have you your only focus should be on god and then the world but when you get into a marriage now your focus is on the man or the woman and god in the world so you have to be mindful god gives us different steps he gives us different things he puts stuff in different orders and places for us and steps for a reason so that we can avoid going through the things that we go through and not messing around with all of these different people giving our bodies to all of these different people because our body our body is a t a temple like it should be royalty nobody should be able to just be like hey let me take you to the movies let me take you out to eat <laughs> let me do this let me do that the movies is like ten dollars or twenty dollars dinner maybe thirty twenty for the cheap but that's forty dollars. Is that what you're worth? Forty dollars to go to get the clap in your cheeks for a man that does not value you, that does not care for you, does not care if the air on your tire blows out the next day, does not care if you need an oil change, does not care if you need your car washed, your windows tinted, your nails done, your hair done, does not care to do these things because if a man really cared about you, he would want to make you look good make you feel good comfort you protect you and provide for you because that is what a man is here to do protect and provide and a lot of times the reason why these men are so angry the reason why they're so angry at these females is because they want the female want them to provide for them right but they don't have no substance they don't have no character they got an attitude they don't even know what they really want they just want money they just money hungry because they're bored they don't have a job they don't want to work they want to be lazy they don't have self-motivation but y'all want these men to pour out money to y'all that makes no sense but for the females who actually you know what i'm saying i get where it may come from but stop following these trends on instagram you know what i'm saying stop following these freaking trends on instagram just because you see oh you know what I'm saying? Get money up these ninjas, this, that, and the third. How y'all gonna have a family? How y'all gonna create a legacy for yourself without these men? Y'all can't do nothing without each other. You know what I'm saying? We can't become more without the other. Like, y'all gotta realize that it's more than money. Money will come. Follow God first. And everything else will follow after that. Like, God should be the main focus. Not, oh, let a guy. I want a guy to take me out. I want a guy to do this. I want a guy to do that. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Like, I get so tired of it. God should be your main focus. 
everything else will follow if god has a relationship for you that he wants you to be in it will not be so hard it will not be as hard it will not be as hard y'all may go through things you know what i'm saying y'all will go through things in y'all relationship because god said y'all will go through things in y'all relationship especially if you get married but the relationship is not meant to bring you down it's not meant to make you confused. God is not the author of confusion. So why do you feel like y'all should be in these relationships with these people who make you feel confused? These people who say, the men too, like, y'all get on me too. I get on the men and the females. The men be like, I'm not ready for a relationship, right? Well, if you're not ready for a relationship, hold yourself accountable. Y'all shouldn't be out here. I'm sorry, I got a cold or something. Y'all should not be out here wasting this woman time, wasting these female times. The woman who actually wants better, who wants to be in their relationship. That's why the female have to have more self-respect for themselves to leave their relationship alone if you know that that's not what you want. Unless she want to waste your time. Because when a man says he's not ready, when a man says that, oh, I just got out of a relationship and this had the third run. <laughs> I don't want to, like, just... I'm just saying, like, y'all have to really value yourself and know, like, where to cut things off at. Like, when I know that it's this, like, for instance, it was this man, he would do whatever I tell him to do or whatever, blah, blah, blah. But I was not into him for real. So I cut it off myself. I have respect for myself, respect for him. I wasn't mean about the situation. I didn't say, oh, I don't like you. You know what I'm saying? You, you're unattractive to me. I didn't have to say none of that. I slowly just stopped texting. I slowly cut it off. And, you know, if he called me, I would answer, like, you know, give him whatever advice. But it's like, sometimes you have to just know when to end things and stop wasting people's time. Stop wasting your time and stop wasting other people's time. Because there's somebody out there in the world that actually will care for them, that actually will do for them, provide for them and protect them. Cook for them, clean for them, all of that, those things. And you're wasting their time. Don't don't do that. That's not nice. That's not that's not godly. That's not godlike. You should really focus on yourself. Focus on what you have. You see these red flags in the beginning of the relationship. You know this person doesn't like to communicate. You know this person doesn't put you would never put you first you know this person doesn't have a relationship good relationship with their mom and sometimes it's okay sometimes people their mom might have treated them a different way but figure out the story you know this person doesn't come from a good household you know this person just you know what i'm saying you can't you cannot judge people by, by what they come from but you you kind of have to sometimes to figure out who this person is and why they act the way they act because when they get you start acting crazy towards you, don't wonder why when all of these things were here, right in here, right right in front of your face, and you skip past them, you you like, oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's all right. It's all right. Stop telling these dudes that things are all right when they're not. Stop telling these females things are okay when they're not. It's not okay. It's not all right. And leave it at that. If you're going to leave somebody alone, leave them alone. Move on. It's going to be scary. It's going to be lonely. It's going to be draining. You're going to want to go out, do things. You can go out, do things, and have fun. Like, I hate the fact that now that I'm chasing towards God and stuff like that, it gets boring sometimes. It does. But you can still go out and have fun. You can still go out and do things. It doesn't have to be drinking alcohol and getting drunk and smoking weed and getting high. It's other things you could do to have fun. So now that you removed all of those things out your life, you have to replace them with good things, positive things, and still be around people. You don't have to be lonely. It gets really lonely, but that's just God stripping you away from the past, stripping you away from things that don't serve you, that no longer serve your lifestyle, that no longer serve the life that you want to create. God is trying to remove you from that so that he can put something better there for you. You have to find better friends. You have to find better relationship. You have to find better people that care about you and your well-being. And stop dealing with these, these, these negative people who don't know what they want in their life, who are confused, who don't, just don't know.
because they're going to bring you down in the long run if you don't leave the situation alone stop wasting your time stop thinking oh i'm a bad person if i don't check on them i'm a bad person if i don't you know god is here for every last one of us you don't need to be god you don't need to be jesus you need to be you you need to focus on yourself and let god handle the situation because obviously you trying to handle the, situ the situation at hand was not working so you need to focus on yourself babe you need to really do some self work be confident in your future because god has something so amazing so beautiful that he has planned for you and you just have to take the risk a lot of things in life are worth taking the risk for because you want to be better and you want to become better you don't want to be stuck in life wishing and hoping being in a relationship nothing's worse than being in a relationship and you don't even feel like you have anybody there for you you still feel alone you still feel empty inside you still feel like dang like maybe god does have something for me nothing's worse than that like you want to step into your purpose step into your power step into your life step into a good place where you can really flourish you want to step into some a room and feel amazing you know so with that being said i hope you guys like comment subscribe to my channel it's your girl brie yeah, I'm going to be doing my little podcast stuff, giving y'all advice, but I don't even have the correct stuff for this. So, it's going to be a, a minute before I get everything together. But, I'm here for y'all. I'm humble. I'll always be humble. I want to help y'all get through what y'all going through because, baby, we going through this stuff together. Be with a man who actually cares about his self, about his future, has good intentions in this world. That is the only time you should think about going back to somebody. Is if they have their stuff together, they're doing better in life, they're actually doing something that is good for them. You see that they're focused on their future and that's all they care about. Be with somebody who actually wants to be better. But if you see that they're still struggling and it's the same old, same old, stop going back. Don't give that person another chance. We want to see proof. We want to see. You know what I'm saying? Hold that person accountable. Hold these men accountable. Hold these women accountable. What are you doing with your life? Tell them straight up. What are you doing? You need to be doing this, 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 this. After you give that advice, move on and do better with your life, y'all. Thank you guys for watching this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, gorgeous.